what is going on guys welcome to your 18th Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be building our update method to update the display so you know enough talking let's just go ahead and get started you heard enough of me talking updates display displays what updates display public void we'll just name it update if you want to name yours up mate you can but why would you do a silly thing like that so public void update uh, first we need to get our window object and of course this would be our VC dot get full screen window so now W is pretty much equal to what you're seeing and now we need to test if what you're seeing if W equals null if you see nothing then this pretty much means if you see something other than nothing so if you see something then what do you want to do buffer this is the part I need to type slow so I don't F anything up buffer strategy s equals w dot get buffer strategy so now your s object is equal to the window get buffer strategy It's equal to your windows strategy and what you want to do in here is you need that s because you need to test for it if s dot contents lost now this contents lost method is a boolean method it's going to either return true or false so if the contents are not lost that means you have contents there you want something to look at so let's go ahead and if you have something to look at then just show it on your screen now why do we need to test for this because if the contents get lost on one of our updates then we're gonna have nothing to look at and if it shows us nothing to look at then we're gonna get flickering or we're gonna get a weird display or something like that so only when we have something to look at that's when we want to call that show method um, again if we have no contents and it tries to show it, it's gonna show us like a black screen or it's gonna flicker or something like that so this method updates and only shows us the contents when they're good so pretty cool huh so now aside from update what do we need to do um well let's go ahead and make returns full screen window we're gonna need this later on to public it's gonna be a window object of course get full screen window and all this is gonna do is not gonna take any parameters it's just gonna right there return video card dot get full screen window so let me make sure hey look they even line up so now I can make sure they match easily how cool is that this is, tutorial is getting cooler and cooler with a second now the last couple things we need to do actually we need to build four more methods but two of them are gonna go by like a piece of cake we're gonna build two methods to get the width and get the height of our first full screen window and this was if you remembered up here get width width and get height and this is pretty much for testing resolution so public int get width right there it's not going to take any parameters get width and this is window w equals video card dot get first screen window again since we need to tell what window we want to get the width of and let's put if w is not equal to null so if it actually has a window return w dot get width so return the width of that window and get width is actually a built-in method and we're just going to build our own right here so it's actually both else um if it actually is equal to null if we don't have anything to work with return zero so this is your current this is your gonna return um, the width of your window and if it doesn't have a window then just say the value is zero easy enough and for get height we could go ahead and we could go ahead and type this all again but I found out about this cool thing named copy and paste so I'm gonna try that get height and get height and now I can make sure get height so now we have two methods get width 
which returns the width of our window, and get height, which returns the height of our window. And I guess we have time to build one more method. So in our next tutorial, we're only going to have all that less. So now that we made all these cool methods to test for everything, and especially to take us to full screen, we need a way to get out of full screen. So get out of... Since, I mean, once we run this game, we're probably not going to want to play it forever. I mean, if we build it really good, then we probably will want to play it forever. But some people, some crazy people, might not want to play this entire game forever. So they need a way to exit full screen. So, public void restore screen. Spell it again. Restore screen. And now what we need to do is, of course, get that window. W equals VC dot get full screen window. We need to get our window store an object called w want to make sure that it actually has something if w has something in it then what do we want to do we want to dispose of that piece of junk which pretty much pretty much means throw in the trash and video card dot set full screen window equal to nothing and what this does is pretty much gets rid of your window and takes you out of full screen mode so that was easy enough we learned about that in the last uh like 10 tutorials ago but just thought i'd refresh your memory and now i have one more method to build in this class and that's pretty much to make an image compatible with the display but this is going to be not that lengthy but i mean a little lengthy for the time we have left so i just want to take the time we have left to thank you guys and uh that's it I'm going to tell you guys to watch my next tutorial because we're going to be finally finishing this class and moving on to running our animation. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial.